Hey, this is Chris, and in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make that 3D image carousel a bit more responsive. So I've seen a couple of comments uh, talking about how this, uh, this carousel work, works great on desktop, but if you were to even open it up in an inspector and check it out in a mobile view, it starts to look pretty bad. So let's take a look at making that look a little better. We're going to use a couple of different things, uh, the first of which you might be more familiar with, a CSS media query. And then we're also going to use a method off of the window object called match media to dynamically update the number of images that we're going to show in this carousel. So let's take a look at how to do that. So first, uh, one thing that we could potentially change right off the bat is the slide image width. So we have it set right now at 20 rem. We could set this at a percentage instead, and that might look a little bit better. So I'm just going to play around with this and see what we get. So that still looks OK. You might want to uh, bump up the percentage a little bit. And then on mobile, OK, so it doesn't look awesome, but uh, you can see that it is a little bit already a little bit more responsive and shows that you can kind of play around with that width a little bit. Maybe try like 80% and you can play with with this on your own uh, as well. Okay, so that looks okay, but we can probably make it a little bit better. So if we go back, we can bump this back up to our 20 rem and then let's just use a media query so at the bottom what we can do if you're not familiar with media queries what they are is a way to kind of modify your base css based on certain properties and um, very commonly what we'll do is say hey let's target all devices at this width and below so we can say like uh, you know a phone screen for example we want to we want to target anything that's 600 pixels and smaller and apply this CSS and then everything above we can apply our kind of regular CSS that we've already written so the way we do this is we do at media and since we're targeting a screen we can do screen and max width inside of parentheses we'll do 600 pixels. So what this is saying is all of this CSS is, is good to go here. Everything here is going to be applied. Everything inside of these brackets, any CSS in here is going to be applied to any screen size that is 600 pixels or smaller. So maximum width of 600 pixels. So the first thing that we can do is let's grab our slide uh, image and update the width. So we'll say slide image, we can say width of, let's do 10 rem and see what that looks like. So if we flip back over, okay, so it's a little bit more visible, which is nice. And if we pop back up to our desktop, that still looks normal. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer. Next thing, let's take a look at, okay, so our width. So this this part, um, since we have a small screen already, we don't need to cut down the width of our main um, app container. So that's here, and this is pretty basic again. So this is our top level div here. On desktop, taking up 50% makes sense. On a phone, maybe not as much. So let's do something like, we can kind of tr try and keep this in the same order. So we'll do dot app. And let's do width of like 90%. Okay, cool. So that's already looking better. And if we left it like this, this would probably actually be okay. But there are some things that I'd like to tighten up on this. So it looks a little bit kind of off center. And, and there's not really as much space for these other two images like we have in uh, desktop. So let's do this. Let's jump into our match media method. And what we're going to do is we're going to target this slides to show. 
So what Match Media does is it allows uh, it allows you to use JavaScript to um, get some properties off of the window. And we're going to use something similar to a media query, but it's kind of like a JavaScript version of it. So what we'll do is we'll say const small equals window dot match media. And then we want this to match our um, CSS media query. So let's do inside of uh, inside of quotes and then parentheses. It'll be max width of 600 pixels. And so just so you can see what's going on here, let's console log that. So we'll console log small. Okay, so here is our media query list object. So you can see our media, that's the query we passed in, and this matches is true. Matches is the property that we're going to be um, focused on here. So what this is saying is that, yes, this screen as we see it is a screen that is 600 pixels or smaller. So if I close this and then click on something, now you'll see matches is false. So since this screen is obviously bigger than um, 600 pixels, uh, this is set to false. So we can use that information to then update the number of slides to show. So flipping back over, we can do something like this. If small dot matches, so if that is true, then settings dot slides to show equals one. So what's happening here is if that small dot matches, if that's true, like we just console logged, then we're going to take the settings object and we're going to update the slides to show property to be one instead of three. Otherwise, it'll just stay three. So flipping back over, if we have our three, we can still cycle through. But if we shrink it down and then we'll have to click on something again, you your user wouldn't be <laughs> flipping through the um, inspector tool here. They would either have it on their phone or or tablet or desktop or whatever. But for our purposes, you'll still see three here. But now when we click on something, so now this is what the default view would be. So if you open this up on your phone, now we just have the one image that we can then cycle through. So a couple things to play around with uh, on your end if you're looking to extend this. So this is one, this is just for your phone. You could add another media query and then uh, use another match media in JavaScript with like a kind of a medium breakpoint, like at a 980 or around a thousand or something like that if you wanted to target like a tablet type style. Um, and then playing around a little bit more with some of the styles of um, of your media queries. So if you don't like the look of having the arrows spread all the way to the to the far right and left you could bump those in you could even play around with having like the small images on the right and left like we do on desktop but maybe positioning the arrows in a different way that are a, li a little bit more usable so a couple of different uh, cool ideas to to help you out and extend this so that's all i got for this one thanks for hanging out and i'll talk to you next time